Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video about a certain product, a um, certain piece of gear that everyone should have. Now, you may actually own something like this, but not the type that I'm going to tell you about. And I think you should know about this and you can thank me later for letting you know about this. And what that is, is a guitar stand. And I know you're saying, what the heck? <laughs> guitar stand is a guitar stand. Come on, don't waste our time. Well, you couldn't be more uh, mistaken, okay? Because uh, the guitar stand I'm going to tell you about and show you is quite different. Now... If you are perceptive enough to realize what these differences are, you will become as excited about it as I am. So here we go. So here's the guitar stand that uh, I'm talking about. All right. Now, you may have seen something similar to this. Uh, you may have seen some ones made in China for $9.99 at your neighborhood guitar center or whatever that may be. Well, forget it. That's not the stand I'm going to show you. This is very different. This is made in Germany. It's made by a company called K&M, Koning & Meyer, which is probably the oldest and the best name in stands. And, of course, you're getting German engineering here. As much as the Chinese want to copy it, it's never going to happen. And you're going to get cheap materials, and you're going to be missing a very important feature that makes this stand so amazing. Now, if you've got guitars that you care about at all, you shouldn't have them on any stand except for this one. And I mean it. So let's just look at the stand for a second here. Uh, you've got um, high quality rubber here, okay, which has a very high friction, which grabs your guitar when it's on there, okay. Same thing up here, grabs your guitar just with friction. The stand itself is quite heavy, okay, because you want it to be stable. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about two things, stability, and of course we're talking about security, safety, safety for your guitar. And uh, guitar stands are not always, well, they are never safe for your guitar, if I may say that. Uh, it's just a matter of time when, you, when your guitar will uh, fall over. Uh, from uh, most stands now aside from the materials aside from the design aside from the weight aside from the low center of gravity okay your guitar sits almost on the ground so that's low center of gravity which makes it even more secure aside from all that what makes this extremely special is this right here okay this part right here and this is what you're not going to find on any other stand okay now let me just stop right here and explain to you that this stand is no longer manufactured in fact it hasn't been manufactured for some maybe 10 years or more so if you want one of these stands i'm the only one that has them and i'm the only one who had them for the last few years now. I'm the only one with the vision to keep the stand going. It's so fantastic. So if you want one, you gotta get it from me. And you'll be happy you did. I discovered uh, these stands uh, about 20 years ago. And I forget how I did that. Uh, just by accident, I discovered them and I... You know, just like you, I went, you know, what's the big deal? It's a guitar stand. 
And then I started uh, realizing something. I started realizing this thing is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I went crazy and I ordered more and more and more. And uh, thinking, well, whenever I need any more, I'm just going to order more. Well, a few years went by and um, I started building more and more guitars, needed more and more stands. And I tried to order them and uh, they told me they're no longer made. Well, I, I, they, were, they were made, but they were made with a design change. Why? I have no clue. Is it a disaster? Yes, it is. Was it a stupid decision? Yes. But it's all you guys that don't want to pay more than $9.99 for a guitar stand that you're going to put your $4,000 guitar on. See, it takes, takes a lot of brains. And a lot of you guys have a lot of brains. And that's exactly what you're doing. Right? So I think K&M was forced to uh, go to a cheaper version of the stand. And they eliminated, like I said, that little extension of one of the horns this part right here see so these stands were available uh, 10 years ago at least when I was looking for it but they were just like this so functionally even though in terms of the materials and 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 the workmanship uh, they were still far superior than anything you can get for $9.99 um, made in China however functionally they were no better the whole design of this wonderful stand was ruined so they were no better functionally no better than the $9.99 Chinese stands that you can buy anywhere how sad is that? So, having found out that they were no longer made with the design that I was accustomed to and I was expecting, I freaked out. Because I said, there's no way I'm going to put my guitar on anything. Nothing other than this stand for me. What? now was called the vintage K&M guitar stand a frame guitar stand and I could not buy it anymore so I freaked I freaked and freaked and freaked and then I had an idea I said why don't I contact the nice German folks in Germany at K&M and uh beat some sense into them tell them start making them what's the matter with you start making them again are you retarded why would you stop making such a great design product the world needs it well the world that knew about it and had a brain to assess it and had the discernment to know how wonderful the stand was in terms of security and convenience so I said make it again so I did that but I wasn't successful they said they're not going to do it don't know why Then my next plan was, uh, could you make it just for me? <laughs> they said, yeah, but <laughs> you have to order so much. Uh, you know, it's going to be crazy. Just hype, you can order. I, I, can't, I can't do a German accent. I can do a Hungarian accent. Um, so, you know, I had no choice. And I said, let's do it. 
Let's do it. I will make the huge financial investment just so I can get the stand. I never wanted to sell it. I wanted it for myself, for my own use. That's how much I love this stand. You understand? I was willing to be at their mercy and tell me what their minimum order is for manufacturing these stands just for me. They didn't want to do it themselves, not for them, but just for me. How crazy is that? Now this is what I do with my guitars. I have a piece of hardware that, that I, I'm in love with and the guitar must have it. So I make the sacrifice because I just got to have it. It doesn't make any financial sense. It makes me go bankrupt. It's absolutely stupid. But I've never been or cared about money. I've never been good or cared about money. Everything is passion. Passion. Uh, I think that's kind of like missing from the world these days. It's a very, it's, it's a more rare, passion is a more rare commodity than these freaking stands are. So, well, 10 years ago, I went ahead and I ordered a whole production run of these stands. And it cost me a pretty penny. And I've been selling these stands ever since because I don't like selling anything, to tell you the truth. I hate selling shit, you know. Trying to convince people to use their brains... And to go for, you know, to get to a higher level intellectually and choose, you know, tremendous products and understand design uh, and craftsmanship and functionality. That's a, that's a tough job. That's a tough job, let me tell you. You know, there's so much variable here with, with uh, you know music musical ability talent uh iq you know just having to deal with the masses is just terrible so but i had too many of them i mean uh i've i'm using a lot of them i've got too many of them and uh i had to sell them and i still have some left and this is why i'm letting you know about it now People that know about this stand, they contact me and they say, oh, wow, you got them. I say, yeah, I got them. I just sold 12 of them. <laughs> Somebody contacted me through the internet and they got together with a friend of theirs and uh, uh, they were going to order 10. And I said, uh, I said, look, I'm putting them in the big box and uh, it fits perfectly two more stands you want to take two more make it 12 and they said yeah yeah right away <laughs> so they took 12 previously another guy he was gonna buy one or two actually he was gonna buy one and then he asked me if I can give him a deal if he buys more I said well if you if you buy five I'll give you deals so order to you know a box of five and uh, just amazed by the stands so the people that know the stand know the stand and love the stand and love the stand the rest of you well i think you're already on the way to guitar center are you not with 9.99 in your pocket i think you are <laughs> but hopefully you're not hopefully you're going to listen to this and uh realize how amazing the stand is so the main function of a stand is safety to keep your guitar and not have your guitar fall over you know a nice guitar whatever brand it may be with a broken headstock that'll make you feel really stupid will it not I think so. So let's try to prevent that. Although 
I know you guys, uh, you know, these days you want to be cool and you want to have like, let's say a Gibson or a Gibson type guitar with a blo broken headstock. I know it's very cool these days to have that. I mean, if you don't have a Gibson with a broken headstock, you're just not a real player, are you? You know, everywhere you look, people with Gibsons with broken, I, 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 I don't even know how there is a Gibson without a broken headstock. I mean, it's such an awful design that uh, is just crying out to be broken. <laughs> so you may very well want to get a broken headstock. If that's the case, which I think, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it may be in majority of cases that you are looking to get a broken headstock. Well, then stop watching. Because this stand will do you no good. So, everybody who's got a broken headstock on a Gibson these days goes on the record to say that headstock broke, I glued it back on, and it sounds better than before! Wow. <laughs> now, if you believe that, Get the hell off this video. You're a moron. You know, I've been there. I've been there. I put uh, my guitar many, many years ago. I had a Gibson Les Paul, nice black one. Back before I was building guitars, I would actually get excited over something like that. Gibson Les Paul. And uh, I put it on a stand. And I crouched down in front of it to adjust my stereo and I had forgotten that it was behind me and I knocked the guitar over and it hit a table or a chair and it put a big dent in the neck and you know I just didn't like it after that so I sold it yeah it was one of those it wasn't hanging by its neck but it was one of those very flimsy cheap ass disgusting stands yeah I'm guilty of it so no wonder no wonder I'm scarred and I'm so emotional about this stand and no wonder that uh, I see the importance I learned my lesson I see the importance of the stand because of Learnt my lesson the ugly, hard way, which I think some of you have experienced the same thing. If you're going to be just a little bit honest. And I'm still feeling stupid about it. I'm still feeling like an idiot. It just it just put a blemish on my soul like you wouldn't believe for doing something stupid like that. And we all do stupid shit. But we have to acknowledge and get to the same to the next level and uh, understand what we did and understand how to avoid it. But first we have to make ourselves accountable for what we did. The other thing a lot of you are doing is a terrible thing. You're hanging your guitars by the neck. And you don't think there's anything wrong with that. You never even crossed your mind because you see guitar stores do it. Now, guitar stores started that garbage because they need space and they've got all this wall space so they're going to put their guitars up on the wall knowing and hoping that they're not going to be there very long they're going to be sold okay so they started it and now you guys are doing it and either you're hanging your guitars by the neck on a floor stand or you're hanging hanging them on the wall and it's not a good idea. You know what happens if they hang you by the neck?
Well, it's the same thing for a guitar. You should not hang a guitar by its neck. All kinds of complications will occur. And uh, it's just a weak, very weak area, especially with some of the heavier guitars to be subjected to. Here's just a quick little piece of advice on how to care for a guitar and avoid damage to a guitar. Whatever situation is uncomfortable for you, it's uncomfortable for your guitar. Be it climatic, in terms of temperature and humidity, or be it physical discomfort, or physical precariousness, uncertainty and security, danger that may happen. You know, you put your guitar up against your amp, it's gonna fall gonna slip and fall your neck is gonna get dented by the amp I know it's cool looks cool yeah you're one hardcore guitar player if you if you lean your guitar up against your amp oh yeah that's cool that looks cool for sure but you're also an idiot so whatever is uncomfortable or unsafe for you it's the same for your guitars easy to remember so let me get a guitar put it on the stand and show you what happens with this and how it's different and how it functions Okay, well, here's a uh, recent guitar that I built, a ZT, and it's on the stand. And as you see, the stand is grabbing it really. I mean, it's on a table here, and this is a flimsy table. Okay, excuse me for that, but I got no other choice. And uh, the rubbers. The rubber material, this is not your typical sponge, garbage, uh, pipe insulation material that you get on your 999 stands, okay? So this is very, very tough and sticky rubber. And no, it does not destroy finishes. It does not harm finishes. And I have some vintage, uh, true nitrocellulose lacquer finish guitars. Unlike your Gibson and Fender reissues, which are not nitrocellulose lacquer, even though they lie to you and tell you that it is. Okay. So, if it doesn't hurt the traditional nitrocellulars, it will not hurt anything else. You, the plastic finish on most of your guitars will not be hurt. Let's not be afraid of that, just to get that out there. Um, so it really grabs it. It's low center of gravity, okay? Take a look at it, how beautiful that is. Low center of gravity. And then... You know, you've got little kids, you've got pets, you've got clumsy wives uh, who don't give a shit about your guitars. Trust me on that. You know what I'm talking about. And they're walking by vacuuming or whatever, and they go like this. And nothing happens. Your guitar does not fall over. It's hard to film this here. But see, your guitar is like this. Your uh, large woman comes around after she's finished shopping at Walmart and she goes, 
Whoops! Oh, he'll never know. I'll just go like this. He'll never know what I did. And it didn't fall over. You know? And it's just amazing stand. No other stand will do that! And, uh... What more can I tell you? I know this is going to be a... Sh uh, I was going to make this a short video, but... Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know... In the 90s, or yeah, in the 90s, I, I went to some guitar shows, and you know, there's these private dealers, and uh, you know, they've got 20, 30, 40, 50 guitars displayed, and some of these are very expensive vintage guitars, and they had them on these A stands, A frame stands, uh, the cheap ones without that feature. And I'm going, oh my God, anybody that walks by is going to knock that 54 Strat right on the ground off that stand. And they didn't seem to care, you know what I mean? If I would have been them, I would have had every one of those guitars in this stand. So the other cool thing about having a stand like this is it's very convenient. You do not have to put your guitar in the case every time. You don't have to leave it on the bed where somebody's going to sit on it okay or knock it off and not knock it down uh you don't have to put it on a chair that you know it's going to be knocked down uh when it's always in front of you to play and you always just grab it and away you are you play for five minutes you put it back on the stand and you don't have to bo worry about it being rough putting it down because nothing's going to hurt that guitar because it's such a great stand. And then you could go like this and whoa, nothing happens. Look at that. Look at that. Okay? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This baby here which they stopped making and see look look at the guitars on an angle see how much on an angle it is because i didn't put it on properly and it ain't going anywhere it ain't going anywhere because of that rubber all right uh the other thing that i should tell you about is uh see there it is zachary handcrafted guitars K and M stands for music made in Germany, and uh, it folds up. I'm trying to do all this with, hang on, with one hand. It folds up, and uh, there you go. Fits flat and now how do you order one of these now you're gonna if, even if you just get one you're gonna get it and you're gonna go holy smoly this freak show on youtube was not kidding this guy is right you're gonna thank me you're gonna thank me later you're gonna write you're gonna write me you're gonna say alex this is wonderful thank you that's what you're gonna do and then you're going to get another one and another one and another one and a whole bunch. You should put every one of your guitars that you want to be exposed and instantly playable. You should be getting a stand for it. So if you've got five guitars that are out that you usually want to play, you should have them on a stand. All of them. And only this stand the KM vintage designed stand which you can't get anymore but i am the one offering it to you so in case you didn't realize it you're looking at a very rare opportunity to acquire this stand for your guitar collection this is made for electric guitars. It's uh, wide enough to handle uh, semi-acoustics like a Gibson ES-335 and that sort of 
guitar, anything past that thickness, uh, it's not wide. It's not meant for that. It's not meant for acoustics. It's not meant for jazz guitars. It's meant for electric solid bodies and semi-acoustic. Hey, I almost forgot. It's also made for basses. Any bass, it'll hold it just the same as it holds a guitar. It's wonderful for basses. I have a lot of people buying it for basses. So there you go. Any guitar or any bass you have, as long as the body is not as thick as a arch top or an acoustic. Uh, so you should have every one of your guitars now can come out of the case that you're going to be using and they're going to be on this stand and you're going to be able to be relaxed and know that your guitar is safe and uh, you know it's worth it it's worth it uh, once your guitar uh, falls over gets a dent into it into into especially the neck or even has the headstock broken off you're going to think about me and you're going to think you know that jerk on the internet told me something and i did not listen so who's the idiot now see that's what you're going to be thinking now how to order one of these very simple right below this video you're going to see an uh, an email address you simply write to that email address and you say alex i want to buy some of these stands and if you order five they come in a box of five i will give you a discount now what is the price of these stands again this is not a 9.99 garbage stand okay uh the price of the stand is 40 dollars us and because of its weight i charge a flat rate of shipping of 20 dollars within the usa Sometimes it actually costs me more if we, if I ship it to California or Texas or something. It actually costs me more than that, uh, but that's okay. Flat rate of twenty dollars, twenty dollars for shipping, and forty dollars for the stand. So for sixty bucks, you got one of these stands. And uh, if you order five, if you uh, order five, you're gonna get a discount. I think it's five dollars off the price of each stand and then also the shipping will be less and if you order 10 stands or more then there's even a better discount uh, you get it for thirty dollars per stand i believe it's also on the website you simply go to my website zacharyguitars.com also the link is below this video you will be able to go to the website look at the stand look at the discounts look at the discounts for shipping uh, and uh, uh, you can reach me through the website or you can reach me by email uh, which is going to be posted underneath this video in the description section so it's as easy as that and you pay by paypal and i ship it to you and you will be the happiest guy or girl in the world so the bottom line is that you shouldn't have your guitars on any other stand other than this particular stand that I just showed you which you can't buy anywhere else because they're not made anymore you should definitely not hang any guitar you have by its neck, by its headstock. So aside from how well this stand works, what it will offer you is a peace of mind. It'll offer you confidence that once you put that guitar and I know a lot of people have expensive guitars. 
or any guitar, you put that electric guitar on this stand, it'll give you the feeling of safety knowing that unless somebody runs into it deliberately or with huge amount of force and impact, that guitar is not going to fall over. If the stand doesn't fall over, the guitar will not fall over. No other stand will offer you this. No other stand will hold your guitar in such a way that it will not damage it. And no other stand will offer you the security of your guitar even when it's tipped, even when it's pushed, that it does not fall over. And it will give you the convenience of your guitar always being out and it will encourage you to play it a lot more often than going to the case, taking it out or whatever it is. Or taking it off the wall as it's hanging by its neck. That's not cool. So it will offer you stability, security, and convenience. The best guitar stand in the world. And you will agree with me. You will agree with me. You will agree what I just said. Guaranteed. No going back. There is no going back. With any Zachary product. That's the danger of it. Thanks for watching. I'll be waiting for your email.